WICR yesterday. Oh, we got the first try. Oh, good on us. But <laughs> we're back, guys. I'm sure you've missed us. But, you know, we're great people. And we love you, anyways. Oh, I, I am getting some more people on my Facebook more than... Oh, really? Oh, How yeah. How many people do you have? One. Well, I have one. <laughs> oh, welcome, guys. Welcome. Welcome hey, to the desk. Oh, Whoa. hi, Molly. Welcome, guys. Molly, I love her. Yes. Incredible. Iconic. Iconic person. So, okay. connect, yes. <laughs> um, it's sort of a bittersweet moment so far because this is a um oh whoopsie this is a second to last show guys yeah oh. dang bittersweet bittersweet but you know finals coming up and you know what how are you feeling i just want this mess to be over but like i feel like i can just like power through finals as i as i yes I, I agree. I can totally yes, I, agree. Yes. I feel like Mariah Carey, when she talked about Jennifer Lopez, whenever I talk about my finals, I don't know them. I don't them. know her. I don't know her. No. I don't still know don't know her. her. <laughs> 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 but so far, I... You know what? You get, I'm sure everyone has seen the memes of finals. And you know what? They are all true. 100% accurate. 100% accurate. Firm. Always true, no matter what. But guys, also, if you are following us and talking our story, by all means, ask us questions. Yes, ask Whatever us you questions. want to know about us, by all means, we are here to help. So, I'm pretty sure that final so far, it was like a bit wickedy wickedy, but I'm so excited to go back home because summer is almost here. Woot woot! It's gonna be it's gonna be so cool because we went from being freshmen, to and now during summer. the oh yeah yeah, and now during the summer. We're going to be the ones showing you guys, anyone hearing us, hello, hello, to be freshmen and to be guys. Because we start our OLs training on June. Yeah. So our summer, it starts off helping you guys. How awesome. Instead of like on a beach somewhere. I know. Get We're to gonna... help everyone. Yeah. Though. That's like very, uh... That's very moving the world -ish. Yeah. That's how we move the world. Fun fact, but not fun fact for myself. My birthday, June 16th. It's one of the orientation days. So we're celebrating your birthday all day. Yes, yes. So guys, if that makes you any more happy, come help me out being 19. Well, I'll help you guys, the class of 2021, to become freshmen. I think it's a good way. I'll make my whole group sing you happy birthday. Oh, yes. Like every second, every time we see you, I'll be like, guys, birthday, let's go. <laughs> sing. <laughs> sing. <laughs> and we have the Glee Club. Yeah, we'll oh. be a clue club. Oh my god. Do we have a clue? I own a singer. I own a singer. Yes. That's close. That's close, close enough. enough. Oh. Yikes. Okay. So, <laughs> but yes, birthday's June 16. I'm so excited for that. Summer's going to start off fantastic. We have about three weeks in between May and June, yeah. which we guys could chill out, do whatever. And then June 7th, come back. It's just us helping you guys. That's copywritten. Do not take that for your ringtone. Yeah, no. Copyright. Copyright. <laughs> <laughs> but literally, I'm so ready for it. Because the summer is also a good time because isn't one of the study abroad trips on the summer? I don't know. Yikes. Um, it is Zambia. Z no, that's not study abroad. That's a mission trip. A mission trip. Well, same thing. You guys do both do good things. Whatever. Well, you study abroad. How are you doing something good? You're learning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the first part of study abroad it's should studies. give you a clue of okay. what you're doing abroad. Zambia this summer, June, I believe, yeah. Apparently, it's like really a good thing because um, I think Jill, she did Zambia. Oh, yeah, she did it last year. Guys, if you are coming, which I hope you are. Better come. Jill Mitchell, also known as the best CM next to Martin Reverendina. Oh, is the best person ever. Best person ever. You will meet, and you will meet her because she is a great human. She's and deserves, awesome. She's gonna be leaving us next year. She's gonna be a senior. What? Oh, how oh my god! How did that happen? So sad. But yeah, study abroad. I really want to do study abroad, but <laughs> it's hard when you're like a sophomore. Like when you're like a junior, it's hard because. That's when you take like most of like your core classes for your major. Of course. So you can't really go away for like a whole semester. True. Like how they have semester study abroad. That's when I'm going to do the spring break one. And then it's all good. I know. I really want to go to Ireland. Oh yeah, they have Ireland. I know. I, f I feel I want to go to Ireland. 
Although, of course, the slight problem would be my voice. But you know what, guys? I could change up my accent like <laughs> nothing. So I can be Aussie, 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 Aussie. Or I could be very, like, Southern y'all. How y'all doing? That was very, like, I think I'm going to talk like this all day. Uh, I think maybe not. You have questions, I How do y'all? Oh, do I have questions? Um... Uh, 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 no questions yet. How about you? Do you have any questions? questions? Guys, ask us stuff. We're here to help and to entertain and to make your life better than it normally was. Should do a New York accent. Yo, yo, yo. Where your Tim's at? <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Hot dog. Um, okay. um, I've lived here for most of my life. I don't know why I can't get it right. And the iconic one I can't say on live. I feel like New York accents are like kind of hard, or maybe I'm just so used to it. Yeah, like uh, so far, like I don't, like okay. So if I talk like this, I feel like I'm getting more into like New York stuff because I think that's where I talk more in New York. But yeah. when I get to like regular stuff, I can't do it at all. I don't know why. It's just like, but I feel like what a lot of people think is like a uh, New York accent is more like Jersey or True. Staten Island. Like, and no one really likes like. Jersey. Let's t- let's let's have, let's have a mini rant here. No one likes Jersey because everyone who lives in Jersey swears they live in New York. Exactly. Like I I respect Iron Island a bit more than New Jersey. Ever being honest here. Honestly. Like if you're from New Jersey, I'm sorry. Like kudos. Kudos, but also like why? <laughs> you don't deserve that fate. Guys, how was my how was my New York accent? I'm sure it was fantastic. But, um... Oh, by the way, Staten Island doesn't really exist. It's, like, a borough, but, like, not really. Not really. It's, like, it's a semicolon of the, of the country. Yeah, it's, like... It's oh, there yeah. to be there, but it's really not that useful. It's, like, with vowels, and it's, like, sometimes why. <laughs> like sometimes Staten Island. <laughs> like, there's like, the five vowels at Staten Island. Yeah, literally. Oh, my God. I respect... Speaking about Staten Island, Long Island... It's like its own little country. Yeah, because it's like a part of New York, but it's not one of the five boroughs. Because whenever I ask people, like, oh, where are you from? And they're from, like, oh, Long Island. But they say, like, a whole other part of Long Island. Because yeah. it's so weird. Like, if you're in Brooklyn, you know, like, oh, Brooklyn's kind of small-ish. Mm-hmm. So you're like, you know, Brooklyn's sort of the same place. Downtown Brooklyn, all that good stuff. Yeah. And you're from the city, upper, middle, north, yeah. call it a day. So maybe it's, like, weird. Guys, where are you guys from? Long Island is so, like, big. Like, they're like, oh, I know. I'm this place, this place. But, like, I'm just, like, it's an Why? island, but how is it so, like, expansive? It, it, Staten Island is, like, the human version of SimCity. No, Staten Island is so different because it's so small. Like in It's like Farmville. <laughs> my sweet mate's from Staten Island, and she can be like, oh, well, that school, that's in Staten Island. Oh, I know your sister who went there. And it's like everyone knows each other, and I'm like, That's kind of weird. Like, like in New York, you could be, you could live literally on the same block and not know your neighbor. Exactly, I don't even know my neighbors. And you'll be fine living your life without knowing that one fact. Yeah, because it's just like, okay, they live next to me. Okay, we both pay, we both pay expensive rent. Oh well, <laughs> cool, good for us. <laughs> but literally, I think, but still, going back home to New York during the summer is quite good though. Yes, I want to go back to the city, like, and do something. I know. I want to go to Central Park. So we went to Central Park Zoo. Oh Iconic. Although I don't support zoos, but still, they're so cute and adorable. I want to go to Central Park. Like, have a picnic. Just, like, lay on the uh, lawn. That's just what I want to do. I or just walk it. through the park. Oh, uh, no. But also, this is when all the couples come around. Ugh. Guys, if you're in love, oh. why? <laughs> <laughs> and also, how? And, like, once again... You know why? Why did you make such life choices? How far did you deep into it? You know what? I want you guys to think about those questions. Why are you in love? Why are you you? I this got too deep, too real, too deep, too deep, too deep. But we're going to take a small little break and then we'll come back. We're going to figure out why we don't like love. I, I hate love. I love love. So we have two, we have a discussion. You guys give us questions. And then we'll like have a discussion. Please, please, yes. so please. So think of your please. questions, and we'll be back. All right, bye, guys. We, I tolerate you while she loves you. Bye. I love you. Bye.